the spring of 1804, a man settled this mountain. It was an African-American man, and he made a life for himself. All right, guys, welcome back to Detecting PA. I got Rich here from the PA Relic Hunters, and going on? we're going on an adventure today. There was a man that moved here in the spring of 1804. We're setting out to find his home site. For many years, the man was head of the only African-American family in this part of western Pennsylvania. When he arrived here, there was an Indian town of about 30 huts and 150 Indians. It was a Seneca corn planter town, Robert Smith. I come across the passage researching some old sites to detect and uh, this man had some dealings with some Indians. The Indians were friendly with the man and his family and the friendship was mutual. A hunting party pulled their canoes on dry land close to the man's property. They spent several days hunting and returned laden with game. So if we can find us the cellar hole or the home site, we got our detectors with us, we're gonna swing and try to find some iron in the ground, hopefully come across it. So we don't have a whole lot of time today. It just might be a searching mission, but- If we can find anything, it'd be awesome. <laughs> That's so, all that matters. That's all that matters. The river having risen in the meantime, their canoes would have been swept downstream if the man had not secured them. When the Indians realized the facts and the kindness of him, they expressed their gratification by dancing, singing, and shouting. Robert Smith. All right, guys, on our way up to the top of this mountain here, and there's some, there's a stone over here that's piquing our interest. I just want to see if it's a cut stone. Why it would be here, I have no clue. I don't know if, we'll get your guys' opinion. What do you think about that? It looks awful square to be, uh, made by nature. We'll have to uh, keep this in mind for uh, another time. But uh, I mean, there's other stone in here, whether that's just part of the mountainside or what. So, yeah. All right, we'll throw this in the old mental bank. <laughs> How are you gonna get over that? <laughs> Yeah, just up and over. Well, you can see the crick in the background. Uh, can't, couldn't imagine living back 1800s in this kind of terrain on nothing but what the earth offered you. What do you think? Dude, I'm whooped right now. But it's built a blast. Yeah. If we can find it. It'll make for greatness. Yeah. Here comes Rich, powering his way through like a Pennsylvania black bear. <laughs> and if you want to find black bear, this is where it's at. Unbelievable. Look at this hill. Down over. Up over. We're on this deer trail here. And uh, it's heading in the direction of this, the home site. So that's the direction we're heading. All right, guys. Uh, we're starting to get a little... Remnants of some uh, human activity on this mountainside. Uh, I don't know if you can see, we're not quite to the top yet. But, uh, you know, we're starting to see there's a piece of tile over there and starting to see some activity. Um, Rich said that he thought there was a farm on top of this hill, so this would make sense that they're throwing stuff down over this big hillside. But uh, we still got a little ways to go. So stay with us and uh, hopefully we come across the old uh, home site. All right, well, we made it, not to the home site, but to the top. 
that was a good what hour hike hour plus yeah and uh we're to the top we probably got another half mile into the uh home site but uh we should be able to cover some ground now those are edible hold on oyster oyster yeah you will willing to put your life on it not right now you can take a big old bite out of that thing right now i'll create it. a nice thumbnail no i gotta cook it <laughs> gotta cook it all right so you gotta cook this stuff huh yeah it looks like it be. smells good is it yeah it does i won't take right. my chance unless i'm 100 percent sure yeah but yeah i wish i'd find some morels and then it'll be a... all right so we're extremely close we're thinking um it's hard to say exactly where it's at. We're, it looks as though on the topographical map, he's on this hillside. It does level off a little bit right here. So uh, we're gonna turn our machines on and uh, as we get closer to the site, we're gonna start listening for iron and hopefully we stumble across this thing. Who knows if there was a foundation, this was 1804. So, I mean, it just could have been a cabin on top of the ground for all we yeah. know. First homestead, I mean, you know, yeah. what it could be. If it was a starter home or whatever but we'll uh if we hit some iron and uh hopefully start finding some relics so all right guys uh we're still having a hard time finding this spot but uh i got a good tone here and uh i'll let you guys listen to it and we'll dig it together got an 18 right here nice and tight Eighteen, nineteen. So, I'm gonna go ahead and dig it. We've dug a couple shotgun shells so far, but you know that's a pretty decent signal. So, it's not very deep. So, okay. Oh, right there. It's a musket ball. Well, that's the first relic. That's an old one. It's got the patina of an old one. This may not necessarily be from the home site, but it's definitely period. Yeah, that's an old relic there. I'll keep looking around here and hopefully come across something else. Hey guys, uh, finishing up here. We had a heck of a hike in here. We're beat, whooped, tired. We're gonna try to take the quick way down. <laughs> Straight down over, we're hoping, we're Hope hoping. we don't have the cliff or yeah. anything, so. So, uh, yeah, dug a lot of shotgun shells. The only thing we really found of period was uh, this musket ball. Uh, it appears to be dropped, it's perfectly round, it doesn't appear to be fired. It's got that nice white patina that old lead has, so. Uh, we spent four hours on that mountain, searching for the man's home site, but it deluded us. Many questions remain about how this man came to this mountain and obtained land for himself in 1804. Was he a runaway slave? Did he buy his own freedom? Did he earn his own freedom as a soldier in the Revolutionary War? For now, those questions are unanswered, but one question we will not let go unanswered, and that is, where was this man's home site? Hey Rich, I think we figured out where it is. And one other thing, I found something. Listen to this. To this place I brought with me three old Spanish dollars, 2,000 of coppers and five pounds of my wife's money, which I buried in the earth. I was then 31 years old. <laughs>